They sniff for drugs, search for bed bugs, and now they can even detect cancer. You're fine. Oh, this is Wyatt, the eight year old Rhodesian Ridgeback responsible for saving hundreds, if not thousands, of lives. <laughs> even his New Jersey owner, Janice Wolf, thanks him daily. Wyatt actually found a cancer about uh, six years ago that um, I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, No, it's nothing. I've been doing this 32 years, it's nothing. Thursday morning, I get a phone call about 9, 10 in the morning. And he says, I am so sorry. You have adenocarcinoma. This is the cell type women die of. It's positive for breast and liver. Now, researchers say disease detecting dogs have the ability to sniff the difference between healthy and cancerous tissues. Some studies say they're accurate as much as 95% of the time. Imagine you have a way of saving people, but you can't tell them because. If you tell them, they're going to either freak out or yell at you or not want to know. You know, I'm in an airport, and he hits on somebody who's from Korea and doesn't speak a word of English. It's, it's heartbreaking because you know it's something, but how do you communicate it? Now, believe it or not, Wyatt isn't the only star in the family. His sister Savannah also has a stellar sniff, as do dozens of others. Miss Wolf runs the foundation Merlin's Kids, where she trains service dogs for the disabled. You can't train a dog to find every kind of cancer. There's no way. So what I did is I decided instead of training a dog to find individual smells, I was going to train my dog to find anything and alert on anything that wasn't a normal human smell. You don't know what that is. What is I it? know what that is. Whoever's stocking the shelf who touched that and put it in or somebody who came in and touched it had something. Interested in learning more? Just go to MerlinsKids.com. And remember to follow me on Twitter for all my updates at Diana Blass and the show at Chasing News.